Welcome back. To use the comparison module, it's quite simple. First, you must buy it under the upgrades. And if we go into upgrades, you can see um, that I've purchased everything already. Okay, and it's a one-time purchase. So if you delete the app, this is tied to your 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 account at Google. So if you have more more than one device, you can go ahead and load that. Now, unfortunately, the credits are specific to the device. So you have to download the credits specific to the device. And if you delete your credits, or if you delete your app, your credits will be lost. So please do not do that, okay? And there's no way for us to reissue those credits. So, with that being said, anything through here, the edit report module, patient demographic export, the comparison, which we're gonna discuss here, the pain diagram, those are all enabled, and these are movies that are also already enabled. So, let me go back to the home. So, if I wanted to do a comparison exam, First of all, we go into screening history, and let me go into Dimitri Smith. Okay, now, when you have existing patients in there, you can see we have different exams, okay? When you have existing patients, all we have to do is, if I want to do another one on Dimitri, I would just hit new exam. You wouldn't create a new account for Dimitri because they're already in our account. If there's any problems, I didn't cover this before, we just hit edit and we can we can change whatever we need to there. Okay? So to do a comparison, all I have to do is hit comparison, choose two dates of service. Let's go ahead and choose these two dates and hit next. Alright? And at this point I could email, generate a PDF, whatever we need to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and generate the PDF. We could also upload it to Dropbox if we like. We can save the images. Now if we save the images, if I choose that button and save the images or upload those images to Dropbox it's going to do both images. So this is comparison, so it's gonna make both images into one JPEG image, so that way you can have it for your uh, documentation, okay? And this can take upwards of one minute to generate the PDF document. It's a little faster on this one. Then it's going to open up the PDF, and there it is. So you can see there is a pre-post, okay? Um, it's actually after a new injury, so they got a little bit worse after a new injury, but I wanted to show that so that way you can see it, okay? So that is how to do a comparison report, and then you just hit the back button on Android and it goes back to the app, okay? If you wanted to do a trend analysis, same thing, let's go back to comparison, actually let's go back to screening, and we want to do trend analysis, we just go ahead and hit trend, and let's go ahead and do them all. Okay, so now we're going to hit next, and then we're going to view this PDF. So the nice thing is, is that this is, is a um, displacement or a correction over time. So if you're working with uh, a, a client of yours or a patient of yours, you want to track their progress, this is a very, very good way to have upwards of six postures on one page document, okay? This will take a little bit longer because uh, PDF generation on Android is extremely slow, okay? So this is not up to us. This is, this is in fact, a limitation right now with the current PDF generation um, software built into Android. Okay, so this is going to open up. It just takes a little bit of time here at first. And there it is. Okay, turn this sideways, and we can get a nice document, and it will actually even tell us the displacements over time and their correction. So I know you're going to like that. Okay, that's how to do um, a posture trend analysis. You can even see the correction. Look at the correction over time. Okay, pretty neat stuff. Okay, for more information, please browse to postureanalysis.com or email us at info at postureco, postureco.com. Thanks.